Last week, I was very bugged at you because you told me that you wanted me to fight back whenever we had an argument. And so I did, and I fought back, and then you just walked out. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but the point is, it's the way you fight, you know. You don't, you, don't, you don't really fight. That's the problem. Hey, everyone. We're back at it again here on Over and Out. You probably remember Meredith McRae. Yep, that Meredith McRae. I recently stumbled upon this super intense role play she had with her husband, Greg Mullavy, on Playboy After Dark. I wonder if any star now would do this, and how controversial would this kind of couples therapy be now? It was the 70s, and going on Playboy After Dark took an element of risk. As a celebrity, you had to be confident that the show wouldn't sink your career. Dr. George Bach? Yes, we met a little earlier, and uh, I understand, uh, Doctor, you just finished a book, uh, The Intimate Enemy on how to fight fair in love and marriage. That's, that's correct. Yes. We read it too, by the way. Yeah, and we good. loved it. Yeah. Really? Did you like great. it? Did Long you try something out we, we already? Tried a, a little bit. For those who might not get the context, they're discussing Dr. George Back's ideas. He believed in the power of confronting hostility head-on in relationships and harnessing it for growth. <laughs> I think you're probably the only one that um, has come out in favor of hostility and, um, and hate in uh, bettering a relationship. OK. Can we talk about the look on Hugh Hefner's face for a second? If I didn't know better, I'd say he thinks Dr George Bach just landed from another planet. I mean, we've got Hefner, the king of hedonism, who probably never thought he'd use the word hate in the same sentence as love. And yet, here he is, looking like he just bit into a lemon when he hears Dr Bach talking about integrating love and hate in relationships. I'd like to demonstrate, first of all, if I may ask you, to fight a dirty fight. <laughs> I mean, yes, to That's fight simple dirty. For him. <laughs> and let's uh, like, go to it. Okay. Um, last week, I was very bugged at you because you told me that you wanted me to fight back whenever we had an argument, and so I did, and I fought back, and then you just walked out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the point is, it's the way you fight. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't really fight. That's the problem. You just, you just pretend to fight, and that's I what really bugs me. I was trying to fight very fairly. No, you don't. You don't. You don't. You yes, don't. I was. I was trying that's to use the That's your problem. You want to fight fair, but that. I, look. Let's marinate on that for a hot second. Did you guys catch Meredith's tone? Calm, sweet. Almost as if she's trying not to upset Greg, but she's still hitting him with the real talk. She's being honest. She's being vulnerable. Almost like she's cushioning the blow for Greg. It's 70s politeness meets modern emotional intelligence. Yeah, that's, that's you know, what you I really always yell like. and have such a bad temper, and it really bugs me. No, I think, no, no, no. You know, no, you can minute, communicate just as well by just talking to someone softly. You don't have to yell all Yeah, the but time. That's, that's what really bugs me, because, you know, you always have got to go according to rules. <laughs> and I, no, I, I hate that. I really well, the don't book like says that. you're supposed Look, to. Look, we're dealing with human emotions. That's part of your neurosis for God. Yes. You know, the fact My is... My neurosis? What yes. about you? You've got so many. Look, I can't, can't believe deal, it. You can't deal with human emotions like, like with an IBM machine, and that's the kind of mind you've got. You know, it so does do click, you. click, 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 Talk, click, Are you saying I'm analytical? That's, you are, yes, you are the saying. most analytical, analytical person I've ever met, Greg. That's not true. That's yes, not it true. is. Oh, you're always analyzing everything and this and that and why this but, failed but, and what's uh, wrong. Bring his father in. Yeah, you you like are like your father in that sense too. Oh come on! You told me you told me he used to be analytical too. My father is not analytical. My father shouts and yells. He's an Irishman and he walks out the door. That's well, what that's he does. Well, that's wrong. That's no way to deal with problems. You have to stay and fight. To, to fight with a woman like and you. And the other I thing mean, that really bugs you know? me is, you know what? You you always bring up things like that You know, sometimes like you really aren't... remind me of my mother. Believe me. Well, what bugs? What... She says yap 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 yap. She never says what a word. What bugs me? What bugs me is like you know, it's you bring up things that aren't even important. Like the other day, you yelled at me something. About, oh well, and it's so dumb the way your mother believes in astrology. I mean, that has it nothing is to do with. It is stupid the way your mother believes in astrology. <laughs> well, that has no, but that has nothing to do with things. It that is, has it's absolutely ridiculous. nothing to do and with things. And you do the same thing, you know. Every time you want to walk out the door, what does my what does my astrologist say? Cut. About oh, That's I ridiculous. do not. I don't believe in astrology. You do too believe in astrology. Please stop. I do not. Please. You do. You absolutely do. Please. 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 First off, this isn't just a dramatic spat. It's a brave depiction of real issues couples faced, and still face, in relationships. But what's even more impressive? Meredith's courage to do this. Think about it. This was the 70s. Women in media were expected to fit into certain moulds. To be pleasant, unproblematic. And here's Meredith, unapologetically exploring the complexities of love and conflict. On screen, a woman taking such a risk 
groundbreaking. Okay. Now, yeah, I stay at my beef. Right? You go ahead. And, and you know how to. I, yeah, I'll I, explain. I I'll okay. coach you as you go along. Okay. My beef with you is that you told me that you wanted me to fight back. And when I did fight back last week, you blew your temper and walked out. Okay. And now you make the demand. I, I demand this because I love you. I, I, I don't really demand. I, I ask you to please, next time we have a fight or a beef, to yeah. stay With and me. let's both discuss it together rather than walking out. Yeah. What I did agree you say? That. I agree. Will you no, do that? I no, I just have to I check feel, out. Did uh, you hear me? Oh, did you? Check. You have to feed back what I just uh, asked you. You right? demand. I ask. You, love me. you don't like demand, right? No, that's okay for okay. you to demand. Yeah, because I think. Mm, good boy. Right there. That transition from tension to understanding, it's more than just a role play. It's a call for genuine communication in relationships, a theme many would have shied away from discussing so openly back then. When I get angry, I walk out. So say fine. So what are you going to do? When no? you're ahead, stop when you're ahead. Oh, say fine. Fine. That's great. Oh. And so you will, you, will, you will try to the stay? The next time I get angry and we start a fight, I will not walk out, I promise. You promise? Okay. Okay. I promise. I promise. Thank you. Can I okay. kiss you? <laughs> <laughs> Would this fly now, do you think? You see that vulnerability, that raw emotion. It wasn't just a segment on TV. It was Meredith challenging societal norms, pushing boundaries, and most importantly, giving a voice to countless women who felt unheard in their relationships. Given the times, Meredith's stance was bold. The 70s weren't easy for women in the industry. While strides were being made in women's liberation, tackling such deep subjects on mainstream TV, risky. But Meredith, she did it with finesse, highlighting issues many were afraid to touch upon. Before we wrap up, let's take a moment to appreciate the legacy of Meredith McRae. Not just as an entertainer, but as a woman who dared to use her platform to shed light on the intricate dance of love, conflict and growth. So let's chat. How monumental was this interview back in the day? Did it change the conversation at your dinner tables and to my younger audience? How do you feel about Meredith's approach, especially when considering the time she was in? Drop your thoughts below. That's a wrap for today. Sending vintage vibes and love your way. Till next time. Remember, history shapes us, but it's the trailblazers like Meredith that truly make a difference. Thanks for watching Over and Out. <laughs>
I'm looking for the rounders and they're looking out for me. Oh, but why won't they let me be? I'm a high step and pop up from way down in Tennessee. Yes, I am. Why don't they let me be? She likes to say we shouldn't But you know we always will The hollers catch me if the can Runs up over the hill Well, that's how she gets her thrill Saying that we shouldn't But she knows we always will Yeah She always says we shouldn't Saying that we shouldn't But she always will 